the common modalités de gouvernance My name is Friederike Hammermann. I'm involved in a project, a common space project in the forest next to Berlin. And I'm an economist and historian and work as an independent author and scientist. I've been on the last conference two and a half years ago and this time I felt a much stronger um, intention to extend the notion of commons and what commons as a concept makes possible for the whole of economy and not just as something that is added to the economy, economic system as we have it. I felt a strong shift in this and uh, yeah, I think it is an important shift. Place where uh, that had first been squatted and then bought by an association, but everybody who comes to us is part of this association. And the basic idea is that the ground doesn't belong to anybody, so that people can come and stay, and that you don't need to exchange neither money nor a certain amount of work to get your basic needs fed, satisfied, but satisfied, but that this is a right for everybody who comes and uh, this makes it a very wide range of nationalities and backgrounds of the people who, who are there. So how is it to be a commoner on a day-to-day -day basis like this? Exhausting. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's... Uh, I really like it and I'm uh, willing to take the exhausting parts as well. But it, it's not easy, but I learned a lot and uh, I enjoy it a lot and I couldn't imagine to live otherwise differently anymore. As an economist, I've been working for a long time on alternatives to capitalism, also from a feminist perspective. And then I started, for example, I did a book about the alternative economy in Argentina after the financial crisis. And then I thought, okay, uh, there's also a lot of going on in the German speaking area. And I did a book on approaches here. And after I had written this book, I realized that you could describe the younger approaches coming up more or less since the year 2000 uh, with the very same principles as free software production. And going deeper and deeper into this, I realized that in the end you can consider everything as a commons. So commons is nothing that is a given characteristic of a good, but it's a social relation, so everything can become a commons. And then I termed the expression economy, uh, more or less it's like common space <coughs> peer production. Uh, but with economy, I want to express that this has uh, not only uh, ability for software production or uh, singularities, and, but for the whole econ economy. And that's why I do this work, work play with it. Well, this is one important point for me that uh, even with any alternative economy, you still have the problem of reproductivity. So any economy that works with an exchange logic has to deal with the point whether your work, your productive work, care work is part of this exchange logic or not. And then you do have the problem is bringing the kid to bed is it part of this exchange logic or not? If it is privatized, it's uh, as in the uh, Fordist capitalist system, then uh, it doesn't count as work and it's not acknowledged and uh, people get no money for it in a system where they need money. If it is part of the uh, logic, like it is more in the neoliberal system now, 
very often have it, then uh, the nurses are not allowed to give any real care, any attention to the patient because they have to be very efficient. Um, this is not what we want, of course. Still, it is, uh, it is more sub <coughs> sub-oriented people who have to do this work. It used to be women more and more, this migrants who do this kind of work. So this shows that with an exchange logic you can't solve it. But if you have a common space and common producing economy that is based on contributing instead of exchange logic, then you have intrinsic motivation instead of extrinsic motivation. and uh, you have people doing something because they want to care, because they feel responsible for care, because, uh, uh, yeah, and then uh, this dividing line between production and reproduction blurs and resolves, and you don't have this problem anymore. In terms in relation to common, I think it is very important to understand that this is not something made up by lefts at their desk in their office, but that it is something that is, is and has been valid for most parts in history and in all cultures uh, in the world. And so, of course, it is very important for me to have all these experiences uh, from all the parts uh, of the world coming together. And my own background is also in the ultra-globalization movement and only recently I understood how important these experiences have been for what I'm doing now with alternative economics because I had a lot to do with um, grassroots movement in India or in Colombia uh, where they don't have an absolute autonomous detached economy to capitalism, but where all these different principles are still valid and are very important for the movement as an economical basis, but also as a different way of life, different way to see things and to do with things. And so I hope that for the next conference, uh, it had been said in the opening session, it would be more movement oriented. Uh, and this is what I hope for. Yeah. If it is one single sentence, it is a long one. <laughs> so maybe just let me mention the principles I see, what I would call economy. It is first that it's not ownership that matters, but it is possession. So this is not only exactly what is using, but possession means uh, it is needed it is some, or used by somebody. Uh, you have this with the uh, commons as land, this is how we live in my project, but you have it with things that you can give away when they are not in your possession anymore. Um, okay. This is, uh, you have it, you can share infrastructure for example. This is one principle. The next principle is share what you can. So again, what you don't need, you can give, but you can also share your knowledge, your skills and this goes into the next principle of contributing ex instead of exchange logic that you act by intrinsic motivation and not by extrinsic uh, rewards and uh, this is how common space and common producing economy comes together. <laughs>